Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Hearing Loss Pathfinder. And today we're gonna talk about alarm clocks and not being able to hear. <laughs> so before you tear your hair out, I'm gonna talk about some technology that can help you in that sense. So the first alarm clock uh, that I'm gonna talk about is from Sonic Boom. I had it for a long time, maybe 15 years. Uh, from Sonic Boom, Sonic Alert. So uh, it was a very ugly clock, but it certainly did the job. And I liked it because it had big buttons. And I'll post the picture up here. There you go. So the next clock I'm going to talk about, you know, and one of the things you have to figure out in all of these clocks that I'm going to talk about is do you want a flashing light to wake you up? Do you want a vibrator to wake you up? Or do you want both? So you have to kind of think about that a little bit. Um, flashing lights don't wake me up. So, so I realized I needed a vibrator. Now in some clocks, a vibrator is pretty, uh, pretty strong. So you really don't want to put it underneath your pillow because um, it will scare the bejeebers out of you. So you don't have to scare the wits out of yourself with the vibrators. Now, for some people, I have recommended that they put the vibrator down at the bottom of their uh, bed, at the foot of their bed, so that the vibrator doesn't scare them <laughs> and they hit the ceiling like a crazy cat. Uh, the other one, alarm clock that I've used a lot, this is from Sonic Alert as well. Um, I really like Sonic Alert because their products really last and they're not paying me for any of these commercials. It's just a company I've used for a long time and their products are good. So this one, this whole thing is the vibrator and they have just a little clock there. So um, this is a, more of a traveling clock, but you know, some people use it as their daily clock and it's, it's very strong again. It has this little thing here attaches to your pillow or to your blanket, whichever you want. Um, it uses uh, batteries. So it uses one uh, AAA for the clock and it uses uh, two, I think it's two AA, yeah, two AA batteries for the vibrator. So um, it's just very sturdy. Uh, it has a tester. And this one vibrates or it buzzes or does both. So the buzz is pretty loud. Uh, you can do just vibrating, buzz or buzz and vibrate. So a lot of these clocks have options for you to choose. This one doesn't flash, obviously, because you're putting it underneath your pillow. And the vibrator, again, is, is strong in this one because this whole thing is the vibrator. <laughs> so it's pretty strong. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I have another one on my desk, which I'm going to show you, and that's from the Serene Company. I like these Serene clocks because um, they, they're also durable, but their signal also goes through heavy-duty walls, so, or even through a fire door. The door behind me right there is a fire door. And I have a doorbell outside my room because if people knock, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be sure if it's a knock or not. I'm gonna be looking for the noise or what happened. And so I really ask people to to use the, the doorbell. So um, I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna move the camera. Hold on. So that clock that you see over there with all the wires coming out. <laughs> Uh, that is a serene. I have it connected to the doorbell wirelessly and I have vibrator, a vibrator connected to it. I also have another gadget. Um, this one you can add things to it. So it's a really heavy duty signaler, not just an alarm clock. So I use it as an alarm clock and as a general signaler. So it's connected to uh, the doorbell outside it's connected to a house alarm gadget. So it's a receiver. So I connect it close to the 
fire alarm. So the fire alarm goes off, then my phone will go off, my phone, then my clock will go off, and the, I'll feel the vibrator, and I'll know something's going on. Now you'll say, well, how do you know if you're sleeping and your clock goes off, how do you know what's going off? So all I have to do is look at the screen uh, and it will flash, you know, what's, what's going off. It's, if it's the door, it'll flash door. Or if it's uh, an alarm, it'll flash alarm. And if it's the fire alarm, it will show me a red box. And then I know I need to move my little tail out of here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and it has gone off. And I've had to get up and, and figure things out. So um, it, it has never failed me. Uh, and and it's, it's been really good for me. So uh, that is from the Serene Company. Uh, and uh, it's awesome. It, it does use batteries as a backup. And um, it connects to uh, these little gadgets. So if you need more than just the clock, uh, then I have added some extenders. These are like a little extender boxes. So... You know, when people ring the doorbell, sometimes they're a little impatient. Uh, and so I have to, I'm in a wheelchair as well, so I have to turn around, get to the clock, shut it off, and then invite the person in. And sometimes those seconds are too much for the person <laughs> in the door. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, but this little jabby is an extender, so if if the clock goes off, it'll also go off on this gadget. So I have this extender on my desk. So I can turn it off promptly and allow the person to come in. So, uh, and so this, this clock, I'm going to tell you what this clock does. It will alert for the doorbell. It will alert to a, a baby monitor. It will alert to a phone. Two phones, two different phones. It will alert to, uh, if you have an alarm system in your home, there is uh, a type of an extender or another receiver that will um, send a signal to your clock that the alarm in the house has gone off. It will, if you have little, uh, little alarms for the windows, it will also alert if somebody crawled in through the window. <laughs> uh, it will connect to a NOAA for weather, so I have one of those as well. Uh, and SOS, so it has an extra button that's for someone who, you know, if you're sick and you can get another jobby like this and uh, give it to your caregiver or to your brother or your sister or whoever in the house, and if you press that button, then this will go off and they'll know that you need some assistance. So it does all kinds of things, and it's durable, the battery backed, backed up, so... Um, that's a consideration. And you might say to me, Lisa, you know, I try the clocks with vibrators and they're just too strong and they scare me. Well, I recommend that you put the vibrator at the foot of your bed, not underneath your pillow, because yes, that will send you to the ceiling. <laughs> so it's good that they're strong and that they work. But if, if this uh, is driving you nuts, put it at the end of, of your bed and that will, will work much better. Um, let's see, I think that's all for clocks, but you need to know that these clocks do all kinds of things for you. You just have to see what kind of things do you need this clock or the type of clock you're looking at to do for you. I mean, you just might say, I just need an alarm clock that will wake me up, Lisa. That's all I need. So then you would want to go with a more simpler clock. Make sure it has a vibrator so you have options if you want it just to flash, or if you want the vibrator, if you want both, or if you want it to buzz, a loud buzz. So it just depends on your environment or who you live with or who you don't live with <laughs> that you have to consider the different gadgets on these alarm clocks. And I'll be posting pictures uh, throughout the video so you can see the different alarm clocks. And I will be leaving links in the description box so always go to the description box to look at those links. Uh, they are in, I'll see if, if the web page or sometimes I have YouTube videos so that you can stay on YouTube and just click on those links and, and watch the video on those clocks and they'll, 
they'll show you how they operate. So um, if you have any questions about these clocks that can help you wake up or alert you to what's going on in the home, uh, please post your questions down below or your comments if there's something that I missed or any suggestions that you might have for people who are deaf or have hearing loss. Um, yes, I do not know sign language, but I'm hoping that you would be willing to use the captioning uh, down below. Uh, uh, sign language is a language and it takes a long time to learn. And so uh, I think the deaf community uh, recognizes that. So I'm just saying, please use the, ca use the captioning. <laughs> I don't know enough sign language to do this whole video in sign. So, um, that is it for uh, alarm clocks. I'm hoping that this was helpful. And please post uh, your questions if something was not clear. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I'm another channel that I have. People come from all over for information. I am not an audiologist. I am a, a person with hearing loss myself. And so what I share here on the site is about uh, my personal experiences as a person who is deaf and uses cochlear implants. So uh, if you have some specific questions you would like me to answer, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to uh, prepare a video for you in regards to that specific topic. If you have watched videos and, and you like them and they were useful to you, feel free to smash that like button. That tells me that I'm going in the right direction and I'm posting things that are useful to you. And also, liking a video helps spread it around YouTube. Uh, the other thing, if you feel that this channel will be helpful for you in the future, uh, feel free to subscribe. Subscribing is completely free. And all that will happen on your end is that um, you will get notified when I post my next video. So I'm I'm glad you found us and come back again.